It's vital to have gained consent before providing first aid. Introduce yourself, tell them you're a first aider and ask if you can help them. If they say yes, you obviously have their consent. Most first aiders are trained to introduce themselves and say, I'm a first aider, may I help you? You don't have to use this exact phrase, but it's a good idea to have a set way of asking for consent, so that if asked, you can easily recall how you gain consent. It's important to maintain communication with the patient while providing first aid. Tell them what you're going to do, why you need to do it, and ask them if it's okay for you to do it. If you do need to touch them, tell them what you need to do and why, and ask them if it's okay. Keep them informed, consent is a continual process. Consent can be implied. For example, where a patient is unconscious, you must still introduce yourself and ask for their permission. If they cannot reply, it's assumed that they would still want you to help them, but you must still ask to gain their consent. If the patient becomes conscious, you would need to ask them again. If a patient cannot respond verbally, for example, they're choking and cannot speak, they could nod to confirm their consent. If someone stretches out their hand to you, this may also be deemed to be consenting. If a patient is a child, ask the parent or guardian for consent. If the patient is an adult with a member of their family, ask them for consent. Consent and implied consent are very important aspects of first aid. Make sure you always gain consent correctly in the first place and renew that consent continually while you're providing first aid.